<laughs> a few weeks ago, I read an article in the New York Times about a woman who died in a fire. Her name was Lorena Escalera, and her death was a tragedy. But what shocked me was not the manner of Lorena's death. It was how the Times chose to write about Lorena's life. The article said she was curvaceous and was known to invite men into her apartment. The reporters went on to say that she was, quote, called Lorena, as if Lorena was not her name. Lorena was a transgender woman, just like myself. And she was stripped of her dignity. I spoke out alongside many of my transgender sisters who saw the article as a slap in the face to girls like us everywhere. GLAD joined us in taking the task, times to task, and the paper responded with a rather weak statement. I'm on this stage tonight because Lorena was much more than the demeaning, sexist portrait the Times painted of her. But until the media treats trans women with respect, society will continue to see us as less than human creatures to be gawked at. And because violence against transgender women is escalating, that shift needs to happen now. GLAD has called for a meeting with the Times, and tonight I'm joining GLAD in making that call. The New York Times needs to set an example and let readers know that steps are being taken to ensure that an article like the one written about Lorena will never be written again. Lorena was a daughter. She was a friend, she was an artist, and she was a role model to many. And she deserved better, we all do. If you see dehumanizing or anti-LGBT stories in the media, take action by speaking up and reporting it at glad.org slash report defamation. Together, we will hold media accountable when their words and images fail to fully encompass who we really are. Thank you all so much. Have a good night. <laughs>